Hi everyone, Paul Daniels here, and yes, I've uh, got some more updates on the whole board view development. First thing I'm going to come out straight up and say is that I will be doing this at least for the intermediate time uh, as a commercial development. I've put quite a lot of hours, months and months of hours worth, in fact, uh, into developing this software from where it was originally. There has been assistance from other people and I'll be seeing what I can do about helping them out too for their contributions. Legally, it's all under the MIT license, so being producing commercial product out of it is actually perfectly legal, there's no problems there. Um, it's just uh, the PDF integration was uh, a fair bit of extra work again and I think it's a nice key separator between the current uh, free development versus the commercial development. There will also be some extra new little goodies that we're going to throw in on the commercial one that uh, sort of sweeten the deal a bit more, but I'll get into those when I get to developing them a bit more. So at the moment, uh, we now have gotten to the point where I'm working on a online installer. So I've simply got the one file, I'll double click it, it goes and checks to see what version's available, sees that uh, I haven't got up-to-date ones, so it downloads the latest. And wait, there we go, it installs it, loads it. When I say installs it, it isn't, is not actually installing like a normal Windows program. It's uh, self-running within a folder, which makes it quite portable, and you don't have to go through the process of dragging things in and out of the Windows system. Uh, as with all the previous board views programming, you just simply yeah, pick the board, brings up the PDF, do the usual thing, search, and comes up. You can just jump around, get your searching, and pick items on the board, and vice versa. The other thing you can do is you can double click on these, and it shows the uh, full network and they're caught out by anything there um, <clears throat> I changed the default behavior of scrolling in the PDF view uh, previously it was to zoom in and out but I've actually made it now to page up page down if you want to zoom in you just hit control and mouse scroll I've also made it that it zooms in based on where your mouse is. So those two things were a big improvement on the PDF viewer. And also you're not bound by the boundaries of the window itself, which was something that I kept running into before. You can shrink it down and just hit, uh, I think it was W, no, that was the wrong one. I've forgotten my own code here. No, oh, I think it was W. Try this, W, yep, that's it. Shrink that down. Yeah. It's a little bit hard when I'm on a limited screen size here. So as it was before when it was open board view, uh, everything else is pretty much the same, except we've just got the PDF integration and we've got a couple more things coming in the future, but uh, I'll wait until I've got them closer in development before I let those out of the bag. The I know going commercial is going to upset a few people, but uh, like I said, I really need to, the amount of time that gets put into this, I need to be making a living out of this as well. The pricing is going to be somewhere around about what we currently buy EasyDraw and uh, ZXW for. The upside will be I won't be licensing the commercial version on a subscription basis so basically you buy one license you get to keep that perpetually there may be version limitations on that like as in for a year you can do updates or whatever but the finer points i'll work out later uh there's really not much more to it um, let's see if you quit and you run it again because it's already got the latest version, it doesn't uh, do a download. As this PDF doesn't exist. Uh, okay, looks like I let's see preferences on the board. Select. Uh, what board is this? Thirty-four, thirty-seven. MacBook Air. Open. There we go. Now it exists. Uh, done. 
And the other thing I want to point out is you should be able to double click on any of these networks here and it will show it up fully up there. And of course, show it fully up here. Okay, so it's certainly, it's going to make doing repairs a lot easier. It's less work to bring together the two views of the board, so to speak, uh, the, uh, the physical layer and the um, technical layer. And so you be able to keep your mind focused on what you're doing a lot easier. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, probably another week or two, I think, maybe. The website should be up and running and purchases can start. Um, things could change between now and then, but at this stage, that's where we're heading. The name of the product is going to be Flex Board View or Flex BV. And yeah, well, as it comes to hand, I'll uh, let everyone know. So until then, I'll catch you all later.